right, uh, it's time to talk about our internal assessment uh, and get that going. If you look at the, um, the second module, it's called assessment. And the very top uh, thing is world religions, I directions. So let's look at this. Um, I'm just going to hit some highlights. Uh, ignore that part. Uh, yeah, okay, details. Um, this first sentence is extremely important. Uh, the internal assessment <clears throat> is a investigative study of an aspect of the religious experience, practice, or belief of a group and or individual adherence, adherence to a re particular religion. So, study of an aspect of the religious experience, practice, or belief. So, that's important because if you think, well, I think I'd like to write a paper about, you know, the history of the Crusades. Well, no, that's not an aspect of religious experience, practice, or belief. So, focus it on that. Um, let's see. Um, uh, word count. So, it's 1,500 to 1,800 words. That's not very long, guys. Uh, but no more than 1,800 words. So, uh, less than 1,500 is probably not going to be good, but there is no minimum requirement. But you can't go over 1,800 words. Um, and that's, that's five to six typewritten single, uh, double-spaced uh, pages. So that, that's not a lot. Um, controversial issues, you may want to read that. Um, the investigation itself. Um, what is it? Well, it's, it's a research paper, um, but it can be, um, it can be uh, well, let me give some examples here. Interview with an adherent reflecting on the significance of personal religious experience on their identity or worldview. Observation of a religious festival or rite of passage. Uh, investigation of different acts of worship uh, performed by two or more different groups within religion to analyze different perceptions. For example, uh, one, one student one year um, uh, uh, observed both a Orthodox Christian Eucharist and a Roman Catholic Eucharist. Uh, emailed with priests, did a little research, and compared them. Um, visit to an art gallery to view depictions of religious narratives. So there's a lot of stuff here. Um, uh, these are some sample research questions uh, that are useful. Uh, there are uh, five criterion, uh, criteria, um, four parts. So there's this part, rationale and preliminary research, plan for study. And then the key thing, the actual investigation is summary of significant findings and then there's reflection. I'll go over all these in, in individual detail. Um, and there are rubrics for each criterion. Okay, so that's a really quick overview. Uh, and we're going to do this in pieces. And the second item in the assessment folder is a timeline of due dates. So let's just focus on this semester. Um, and your first due date is um, uh, a week from uh, next Friday, Friday, October 30th. Uh, but all you're turning in is a topic. So we're going to talk in class, um, uh, well, not, not if you're virtual, but we're going to email back and forth and, and discuss a potential topic uh, and what you may want to do. And then you'll turn in, uh, I'll show you an example uh, right here in a second. Um, then we're going to spend several weeks together sourcing for this topic, uh, and you will um, uh, submit a... a Actually, I'm not going to require you to submit a bibliography. And you'll do section A, which is like a page. Uh, that'll be due the last day of this semester. So, um, But hopefully by the end of the semester, you won't, you won't have done a lot of work uh, outside of class. But you'll have hopefully you'll have a good topic and good sources. And that is, um, that's half the battle. So what will you turn in to me? Well, it will look like this. These are two examples. You'll turn in just you know one, one of these. Uh, here are some examples. So uh, it, it sounds like when I was talking a minute ago that it sounds like I'm telling you to go interview people or do something or observe something. You don't have to do that. You can. Um, but here, here's a real-life example a, a student did. The uh, topic was human sacrifice in pre-Columbian Mesoamerica. Research question, what is the significance of human sacrifice in ancient Aztec and Mayan religion and how does it relate to their beliefs? So it focuses on practice and beliefs. Obviously, he couldn't go interview an Aztec priest, so he, he did his paper solely on, um, you know, scholarly sources, uh, kind of a conventional research paper. But then 
Here's another possibility. I just made this one up. Uh, East Asian religious art is the topic. Research question. What are the religious narratives expressed by East Asian art in the Birmingham Museum of Art, and how do they relate to, to, to religious beliefs? Uh, the Museum of Art has an uh, incredible uh, Renaissance Christian collection and an incredible East Asian uh, collection of Hindu, Jain, and uh, Buddhist art. So you can spend one afternoon there, maybe with a docent to show you around, uh, and then use museum uh, resources as well as resources you find outside uh, to explain some religious narratives. Um, so let's see. Um, that's basically it. Uh, I know we're just scratching the surface here, but as you think about a topic or an idea, please don't hesitate to email me, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll kind of dialogue that way. Uh, or if you're here at some point and want to just pop by one day, that that's fine too. But uh, uh, let's let's have a dialogue about uh, evolving a really good topic because that is really the most important step. All right, I look forward to your emails.